Hello there. As promised, uh, we're going to be go going down into the abandoned mine shaft in a little bit. But first, I thought I'd better make myself a little bit more storage. So I'm just going to knock up a miner's backpack, uh, which is two wool, four string, a chest, and two iron ingots. And this will hold all my ores and uh, ingots. So that'll uh, make make this uh, expedition a lot simpler. So let's see if I... I've got snacks. And I should be able to get over to the cave entrance. Without being molested too much, I think. Here we go. I've already lit up this area, so it should be safe to get down to where I'm trying to get to. Well, you can never be entirely certain. Hmm, I can hear something. But it could be below me. Okay, we're here. And so, down to the depths begin. Uh, there's actually all sorts of useful things in abandoned mine shafts. These are fences uh, that I'm tempted to nick just for uh, putting together a pasture area up on the surface. But I'm conscious of the fact that uh, watching me dismantling everything probably wouldn't be super thrilling. Uh, I hear monsters. So what I'm going to do is just light up the area as I go and uh, deal with the ores in my own time until I can find that uh, some lapis lazuli or redstone or run out of torches. Oh. Okay, uh, don't panic, don't panic. Um, not panicking. Ah, oh, there we go. Right, sources. There's something over there as well. Not sure what. Oh, uh, ooh, I, uh, I think that's a werewolf. <laughs> uh, let's just hope it doesn't see me, eh? Hmm. Bad chance. But it might not might not be able to get up here. I hope. Ah, right. Copper. I'll uh, I'll take all that. So I'm needing. I'm in quite a lot of need of copper for upgrading my crusher and furnace uh, back in my shelter. Those are metallurgy upgrades. That'll uh, make me use less fuel. Oh, crikey! Um, it's a um, camouflage running skeleton. Right. The, go the one with the the grass on his head makes all the other ones invisible. So it was good I got rid of him. Um, die! Come on! Ah! This is a dungeon. Uh, there's a skeleton spawner in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stop, pull back, and have a snack. Okay, don't panic. But I need to stop. I need to make sure I'm well fed when I'm down here. Okay, we're healing up. Uh, in that uh, dungeon will be a uh, skeleton spawner. And I need to either destroy it or surround the area with light, and then the skeletons will stop spawning. Uh, there should be some nice treasure there as well, if I'm lucky. Right. Uh, take this. And that! Skellington. Uh, pop that there. Ah, that should be alright. Let's grab these arrows. Oh, right. You, you want to join the party, do you, Mr. Creeper? I am. I'm not a, fan, not a big fan of. Uh, oh, Hogan, you dropped some gunpowder, though. Uh, and there's some sort of zombie over there. But let's see if I can actually get some loot before before it turns up. Uh, what have we got? An enchanted book. Uh, thormium ingots. Cocoa beans. Which I've already got millions of. An iron ingot. Some string. And a loaf of bread. The enchanted book is Silk Touch 1. That'll allow me to put Silk Touch on at all. What Silk Touch allows you to do is... Um, you know how some blocks... Uh, like coal, for instance. 
Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm failing, failing to think how to describe it. If you if you use a silk touch pickaxe on a on a block of coal, you get you get the, you get the entire block, which you can then use to decorate or do other things with, uh, rather than just getting a piece of coal. And it works on other things. You can make a silk touch. Uh, but oh, hang on. Why? How are you not? Ah, right. Maybe I should just get out of here. I've got the I've got the tool. I've got the loot. Uh, let's stick another torch in there. I don't know. Don't know how he spawned. Um. Oh, okay. That's not good either. Ah, uh, but no harm done. <laughs> I'm. I'm. I, well, I've got some redstone dust, so maybe I uh, should just head back while the while I'm while I'm still alive. Uh, that wouldn't be very adventurous, though, would it? Uh, but then again, I am going to wind up dead. My luck is only going to hold out so long. Uh, okay. Let's have a look over here. Uh, let's not go down there. Uh, so this is going to be an absolutely enormous uh, area to explore. And probably won't be super exciting to watch. Yes, you see these abandoned mineshaft bits just go backwards and forwards and cross each other uh, on a, on many, many levels. And it just turns into a horrendous maze. But I have redstone. Which is going to allow me to do some clever things. I'm thinking of setting up a slightly less... Oh, is that, what's that? A rat? Okay, we can handle that. I think my sword's about to... My sword's about to fall apart. Uh, so that probably is a good time to cut my losses and pull back. I will come back uh, into the beginning area of this and grab all that ore uh, on my own time. So let's head back to the shelter. And I'm home. And as soon as I stopped recording that last bit, I suddenly realised I may as well just do some mining now. Uh, so I've grabbed a whole load of iron ore, uh, some more coal, uh, various bits and bobs, some Vintium, which I think is for magic, got the copper, uh, deep iron ore, a lot of fancy metals that I'm probably not going to be using any time soon, because uh, you only find them in little bits and bobs. But uh, I've probably got enough to make some bronze, if I can never spare the copper. Also, before that uh, rat interrupted me, I was about to say that I'm probably going to build a mine shaft here, because it's just so much easier to uh, build... Uh, or mine, I should say, in a controlled environment rather than the caves uh, and abandoned mine shafts where you're just going to get uh, jobbed all the time. Uh, so what was I? Ah, what the devil! What are you doing in my house? Pesky thing. So what the devil? Um, there is a griffin in my house. There is a griffin. There is a griffin in my house. Um, how? Right, okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm going to block it in. I think it's the safest thing to do. There. Right, now you can't get me. Um, and I'm going to forget it's there. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll go away if I pretend it's not there. Uh, I could probably shoot it with a bow, actually. Uh, <laughs> yes, this is awkward. I don't think you can get through there. Right, where's my bow? Oh, I've got two bows now. Where did the other one come from? Must have come off a skeleton. Right, there we are. Like shooting fish in a barrel. Well, it serves it right for sneaking into my house. Um, uh, bows quite effective against uh, griffins. Well, bows are pretty effective against everything. What did it drop? Though? Those look interesting. It's a an emerald shard and an iron shard. Well, those are just like those gold nuggets. I think you just put them together. Uh, in your crafting uh, container, crafting matrix, when you've got nine of them. Uh, but there was one thing I wanted to make before I go, although I'm probably running well over time. Uh, I've got, cause I've got some redstone. Let me just make sure there's no more beasties in my house. Um, <laughs> if I just grab some gold, what I can do with this redstone is make a clock which I'm going to need for some other projects. Is it corners? No, it's not. 
head sides. Long time since I made one of these. There we are. And this is, it's mostly a curiosity. They're not very useful in and of themselves unless you're underground because you can just look out the window. But it, as you can see, it, it shows you uh, what time of day it is. It's morning. And that'll slowly... No, it's evening. I forgot which way it turns. It turns that, it turns clockwise. Funnily enough. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to be using that to make a clockwork engine uh, before too long. But yes, next episode. I have so many choices, I'm not sure what to do. I picked up all the fences uh, from the, the mine shaft, so I could uh, build a paddock and get into some sort of animal breeding, uh, or even horse riding. Uh, I also want to get into the bee breeding, of course, which is going to be really interesting. But before I do that, I really need to find a village, uh, because I'm, I'm sort of need to steal their beehives. Uh, I may also steal the village, uh, if I can, if I can get, if I can get my uh, automatic building transporting device working. I mean, there's also the there's also the pyramid, of course, to investigate, and there's another tower, another mage tower in the swamp. Uh, there's probably mage towers all over the place. Come to think of it, I mean, there's, there are there are still many many overworld places to explore. Well, obviously, it's an infinite world, but um, even nearby. I haven't even been around the jungle too much yet. So, what do you think I should do next? I mean, there are dozens of other possibilities beyond what I've just mentioned. So, let me know what you think. Uh, also, I've not mentioned this before, but if you do like these videos, do, pre do please press the like button, because it, it fuels me. Uh, it certainly makes me feel a lot better sometimes. So, take care, and I'll see you next time.